With tensions between the United States and China already nearing a boiling point, Speaker Kevin McCarthy, the highest ranking U.S. official ever to meet a Taiwanese leader on U.S. soil. America's support for the people of Taiwan will remain resolute, unwavering, and bipartisan. That message delivered at the Reagan Library, where protesters for China versus those for Taiwan tried to shout each other down. Against the backdrop of an increasingly aggressive China, which claims sovereignty over Taiwan, a self-governing island. We once again find ourselves in a world where democracy is under threat. And the urgency of keeping the beacon of freedom shining cannot be understated. The meeting was held in the U.S., not Taiwan, at the suggestion of Taiwan's president, after China was outraged, firing missiles over the island when then-Speaker Pelosi visited in August. Relations between Washington and Beijing are at an historic low. Over COVID, TikTok, and U.S. concerns, China is considering selling weapons to Russia for its war in Ukraine, as well as the massive spy balloon. NBC News reporting exclusively this week that it captured and transmitted intelligence from sensitive U.S. military sites before the U.S. shot it down off the Atlantic coast. Do you worry that meeting with President Tsai in the United States is going to further escalate the tensions? No, it shouldn't by any means. I mean, I, I would sit down with President Xi. What I think would foster a worse situation is a lack of communication. Also looming, U.S. intelligence that says China is likely to invade Taiwan within the next five years. Wednesday, McCarthy and the other lawmakers calling for increased and more rapid defensive arms sales to Taiwan. What we're doing today is protecting us five years from now if we take those actions. Another possible flashpoint today, the arrival of a bipartisan House committee led by the Foreign Affairs Chairman in Taiwan overnight, as Congress signals rare agreement from both parties to China that the U.S. will step up arms deliveries to the island. Craig? Our Chief Foreign Affairs Correspondent, Andrew Mitchell Force. Andrew, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.